Hey you guys, thanks for coming to check out today's video. So today's video is very, very exciting. It is my first time trying a V-part wig in the kinky straight texture. And this is one of my all-time favorite textures. So I'm so excited and I'm literally loving the results. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, so we start off with freshly washed, clean, blow-dried hair. My hair is 100% natural um, but this is what it looks like in its blow dry state so I go ahead and section off a side part because I want to do a side part for this one and I'm sectioning off the V part I'm also sectioning off just a little tiny bit of edges so that I have some edges out just in case I need them and then I just do really big chunky corn braids corn braids <laughs> corn rows down my head I think total I had five and then I just stuck a rubber band at the bottom of them I'm also sure to just take some hair out of the bottom and just leave it loose so that there's not too much tension at the nape of my neck so the last braid is going to be sort of a sideways braid because this is a side part install So I want to make sure my hair is nice and hydrated before this install. So I just grabbed my Jamaican mango and lime island oil. I love this stuff and it's so easy to apply. Um, I'll leave links down below to where you can grab that as well. So thank you so much to our sponsor. This is Nadula Hair. Thank you for sending over this kinky straight V part wig and 22 inches. They also sent a few goodies in the package, one of which said Merry Christmas. That was really sweet. So here is the construction for the cap. Two combs on either side, one comb at the top of your head, one comb at the nape of your neck, and two adjustable straps. You also have two combs that hold your ear tabs down. You will use every single comb in this wig to make sure that it is laying flat. So make sure you use every single comb. So the first thing I did was line it up and get the wig to where I want it to be. Then I pulled it in place while I placed the clips around the side, around the parting space. Make sure your clips are where they need to be. Make sure they're secure because you want to make sure your wig is laying flat and it is very secure. So once you've adjusted the clips at the parting space, you want to make sure you go in and add that clip. Clip that down um, at the top of your head because you want your install to be nice and super flat. Be sure to use that clip at the top. This is how you get a nice flat install. Then you're gonna wanna use the comb at the nape of your neck and you're gonna also wanna use the combs at the ear tabs. Now, since this wig is shifted to the side, the combs are not at my ear tabs, but I'm still gonna use them. But since they're not at my ear tabs, I'm also going to add bobby pins to make sure that this wig is completely secure. And now to start styling and blending the leave out, what you're gonna do is just put a part straight down the middle of your leave out. You're going to comb the leave out into the hair. Since this is kinky straight hair, I really don't have to do a lot, you guys. My hair literally is just here and I'm just combing it in. And um, to get a really good blend, I always use a bristle brush. And that's pretty much all I do to blend my own natural hair into the kinky straight. This is why I love this texture. It doesn't take a lot of manipulation to just look natural and really, really beautiful. I 
I am so obsessed with how this looks. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp. I love, love, love this kinky straight texture. It's so fluffy. It's so bouncy. It's so lightweight. And it's just giving black girl big, like, blowout hair. And I'm totally here for it. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself some face framing layers. And also give my la myself layers all throughout the wig. I am going to wand curl this hair. So I want it to have a lot of body and a lot of shape. I don't want it weighed down. And I don't want it heavy on the ends. So I'm trimming it and cutting it into a nice face framing shape. So that my curls come out really, really bomb. So I decided to throw on some makeup and um, put some earrings on, get a little cute, you guys. So um, here we are at the wand curling part of the tutorial. You're just going to take a rat tail comb. That's the Gleam Precision Rat Tail Comb, which I love. Um, it's available on my website. I'll leave links down below. Um, you're also going to grab your wand curler. I grabbed my wide wand curler. I have a smaller one too, but I wanted the wide one for this. I grabbed sections that are about an inch and a half wide and I went ahead and just wrapped them around the wand curler and um, yeah, just held them there. In this video, I didn't show how long I held them there, but you do have to hold the hair on the wand for quite some time. I would say each one I held for about five to seven seconds. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot because you definitely want the hair to hold. I also used a lot of hairspray, you guys. I don't know why I didn't show that part, but I used a lot of hairspray before I added, I started the wand curls, and then I did hairspray after I finished the wand curls. So I did hairspray twice, before I curled the hair and after. So these curls have actually held up in this wig for about five days because I did use the hairspray. Oh, here I'm showing you um, I used the hairspray, but I also used it before as well. And the very last step is to just go ahead and go through, finger comb the curls, get them nice and fluffy and bouncy. Look how healthy and hydrated this hair looks. This hair is absolutely glam and stunning. The quality of the hair is so soft, so luscious. I just wanted to keep touching it the whole entire time. I absolutely love this wig and recommend this hair. Um, kudos to Nadula Hair for coming out with this gorgeous, gorgeous wig. So I did go ahead and grab my hot comb just to hold down my um, parting space a little bit and to give my hair a little bit more of a tameness. It was a little wild. Um, I don't mind that, but I know some people like a more neat, clean look. So I just wanted to show you that as well. I decided to opt against baby hairs on this one. I just love the fluffy, natural look. I'm obsessed. Look at that smile. You know I love it. <laughs> if you guys want to check out this hair on the Doula Hairs website, I'll leave links down below as long as a, as well as a coupon code so make sure you guys check that out subscribe to the channel make sure you guys share this video share it with a friend share it with a wig lover share this video with your mama peace